Ladies and gentlemen, right now, quick interview as we have this intermission. We got Gustavo Granados. Granados, welcome to the broadcast booth. How you doing? I'm doing great, man. How's everything? Doing well, and you're fighting in the, I believe, the main event this evening. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Tell us one how it feels to be fighting in the main event. Oh man, it it just brings me back to the my my first title fight that I've ever been to because it's just it's a lot on the line and you just have all all your fans just rooting for you and everything. It's it's a crazy experience and it, it's just such a rush to even be in here. Now you're coming off a pretty impressive victory. How does that feel? Uh, tell us how training camp's been for you. Uh, training camp has. It, well, I've been I've been training MMA for about six years, going on to seven, and it really has been different. Usually, I would just train just to understand the art, but then preparing for the MMA fight is just a whole different feel. Like everything is, everything has to be pinpoint, everything has to be precise, timing is everything, and technique for, first and foremost, you know. And it, it hasn't been easy, but then again, that's the only way you can develop more from it if it's more difficult. Now, when you're training for an MMA fight, like you said, there's a lot more into it. How much more difficult is it to train for an MMA fight where you're spreading your time among all the different disciplines compared to, say, just a K-1 fight or a boxing match? Well, if in K-1, you really don't have to worry about getting taken down. You don't have to worry about the constant knees to the to the body. You know, all of that comes into play. You can stay in front of the guy as long as you want, and you wouldn't have to worry about him trying to take you down or anything like that. Clinch, maybe, you know, but then again, you only have that one shot. He has to let go, boom, you're back toe-to-toe. -to -toe. MMA, it, it doesn't stop. You know, you get taken down, the fight's still going from there. There's no eight counts. There's none of that. The, the fight goes on and on. So there's a lot more cardio involved into that. And basically, you're just grinding it out. You're grinding out the whole time. And you really need to be on your toes. You can't stay in front of the person. Because then you can blitz him. But then he just takes a different shot at you. And down you go. You know? Definitely. And now you're fighting Eric Shifter, who's, uh, you know, he's been in some phenomenal fights. Tell us a little bit about your opponent. What are some of the challenges he presents to you? Well, from what I've seen, he he's wrestling based, so I already know that he's gonna he's gonna be working towards taking me down. He's gonna try to pressure me the whole time to get me hurdled up to then take me down. I'm already aware of that. Um, being that I have the longer reach advantage. He's going to have to work harder to come inside to, to attack me, whether it's from the overhead or even from the body because he's, he's shorter, so that means it's a, it's a better chance for him to get under me and go for my legs. Scoop your legs out from under you. Yeah. And tell us a little bit about the gym you train now, who you train with, some of the training partners, and your coaches. Well, it all, it all started when I was hanging out with my cousins and they, they were just coming out of, they were coming out of class. And they had their gear and everything. And I asked them, I was like, oh, what were you guys doing? And they was like, we was just training. I asked them what gym did they train at? And they told me, oh, we were training at Victory Martial Arts in West Islip. I grew curious because as a kid, I never really thought of myself actually competing or doing any of that, but it just, it just had me intrigued. Like, I just wanted to understand the art. I wanted to be able to defend myself as I grew older. And they told me, just come on down, give it a shot. You just can't, you can't give up on yourself if you actually commit to this class. And from there on, I've just been training ever since. Awesome, awesome. Now, what's next for you? How long till, obviously, uh, we don't want to push this fight past you. Yeah. Um, you got a big fight ahead of you tonight. But is there a timetable to turn professional? Uh, I do I do plan on going pro, yes. Um, I don't want to just make it based off of my decision. Like, yes, I could feel good about, yes, I want to go pro. I want to get into that and everything. But sometimes my coaches can see more than what I can see in myself sometimes. Mm -hmm. And I really want them to be able to help me decide whether I should go for it or not. 
You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, I'd, I'd want their approval because they were the ones that took me in in the first place. And they're my mentors. So I, I, as much as I would want to go pro, I still trust their judgment on me being patient towards that goal. Okay, awesome. Well, uh, any, any, um, anyone you want to recognize that has been supporting you through this journey up to this point? Um, I, I'd really want to say my mother because she's been the only one to have been through all of my fights consecutively and counting. You know, she, okay. she's always she's always pushed me to go to train, especially on the days that I don't even want to go to train. You know, she's always been that, that backbone for me to try to push myself and everything. And that goes the same for my family, you know. She, she also supported me, but I have to give it to my family as well. My teammates, you know, I have, I have good characters in, in my school. You know, I, I have my friend Brianna, I have my friend Joey, I have my friend Andrew, who's also been in this event as well. You know, all of them had such an influence in my part on being where I am now. Awesome. Before we wrap it up, what's one thing about you that you would like to share with everyone but nobody knows? Uh, wait, say that again? What's one thing about yourself that you would like to share, whether it's in the cage, out of the cage, but nobody knows about you? Oh, I'm... I'm a geek. <laughs> you know, like I, I do I do enjoy going out and everything, but at the same time I, I can enjoy myself playing like a decent video game or whatever. Okay, you know? what's your go to game? Right now it has to be Gears Five. <laughs> okay. Awesome, awesome. Well, well it was a pleasure talking to you. Likewise. Best of luck this evening. Thank you. And uh, looking forward to this awesome title fight. Don't worry, you're gonna see a show. Awesome. Have a good one. You too.